In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a waterfall chart in Google Sheets. A waterfall chart is a useful type of visualization that shows the cumulative effect of how an initial value changes when values are added or subtracted over time. And this is an example of a basic waterfall chart that I have created in my spreadsheet. And this is just showing revenue per month. And so it shows some months where there is positive revenue, other months where there's negative. And then at the end here, we have the to total cumulative value of all of my data points. And this is the kind of chart that I'm going to create. Now, this is a very easy type of chart to create because it is a built-in chart type in Google Sheets. So you don't have to do any special formatting. And so I will create it now. So first, what you need to do is you need to have your data already in your spreadsheet. And so again, I just have different months of revenue as my example data. And then what we need to do to create the chart is highlight our data. So I'm just going to click and highlight all of this. And then you can come up to this insert chart button or you can go insert chart. And so what Google Sheets is going to do is they're going to select the chart type that they automatically think is the best kind for your data. And sometimes that might be waterfall, other times you're gonna to have to set that. And so what you do is navigate to this chart type section. And then what you wanna do is scroll down and under other here, you will find waterfall chart. And so now we have our basic waterfall chart. And there are a few customization options that we have. You can find those under this customize tab in the chart editor. We can change things like chart style. Under here, you will find different options for changing things like background color, border colors, connector line colors. If you don't wanna show connector lines in your chart, you can also uncheck this box here. Next, you have chart and access titles and so pretty self-explanatory. You're just changing the different titles of your chart. And so if you wanna change a different title type, um, just set that setting here, and then you can change the actual title and font styles down here. Then you have the series. And so here you can change um, how the data in your graph is displayed. So you can change the name of each series and the colors of the bars used in the chart. You might also want to pay attention to these settings here at the bottom, data labels. So that's gonna label um, each bar with the actual value, or you can uh, remove the subtotal by checking this box. So that might be useful too if you don't or do want that in your chart. So under the next setting option, you have legend. And so that is just changing settings with the position, font, and color of your legend. And then you have horizontal axis and vertical axis options. And lastly, you can customize your grid lines and ticks under this section. But that is it, a waterfall chart is super easy to create. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.